Hey guys, welcome back to Flat Creek Outdoors. I'm Phil, thanks for checking out the channel today. Today we're gonna see if the new pump that we got will power up two inch and a half sprinklers and you know get them kind of full power and really good coverage. So stick around, it's gonna be a fun one. These are the sprinklers that I got just this year. These are inch and a half full circle sprinklers. They actually come with a couple different nozzles. I put the largest nozzle on it. I believe this is a 14 millimeter nozzle. Don't quote me on that, but this is the largest one it came with. And uh, I, I, my objective in all of this is just to get as much water out on our field as possible. So I figured why not try the large one? And uh, anyway, this particular piece here, I just have two inch PVC. It's got a quick connect on one end and then I will just bungee it or zip tie it to a T post in the field. And uh, I have another one of these sprinklers that's on a stand. I'll show you that in a second. And yesterday I was out here and I filmed a video for Woods Tree Farm, which is my other channel in case you didn't know that. And uh, the short story of that video was that my old trash pump, which doesn't put out high pressure, was able to shoot these sprinklers, a single one of these sprinklers out about 48 feet. And the new pump will now shoot it out up to about 70 feet. So now that I know that the new pump that generates higher pressure does a much better job at handling these big sprinklers, I wanna see how the new pump can handle two of these. So, let's get to work. How are we gonna hook this up, okay? Yeah, so we'll just lean that against the T-post like that. Probably figure on, we'll aim the bottom in that direction because our hose will be coming in from over there, hopefully. Got it. Okay, pull that up around. Okay, I spared you watching us drag these hoses around. These things are a pain. But uh, we got one here, and we got one just back there. You can see the white sticking up. I think they're about 150 feet apart, which if they shoot the same distance that a single one did yesterday, the radius should be coming right close to each other out that way. So we'll see how this goes. Got to put some fuel in the pump and fire it up. Fingers crossed. So we can see now that we're just not getting, not getting what we want out of these sprinklers. I'll stretch out the tape measure here. And if you saw me struggling with the pump, it's just not keeping a prime. I'll have to get a foot valve or something for it. Water just wants to run right out of the pump. So when you, you know, it should be holding water inside of that pump housing so that it, it automatically reprimes itself every time, but it's just not doing that. So uh, anyway, the coverage here, not what I was expecting. If you go back and look at the other video on Woods Tree Farm when I was just running one pump, it looked way better than this. But let me stretch out a tape and we'll see how far it's going. You see where it's dry and where it's wet? Right there in the middle, about 49 feet. And 49 feet is just about exactly what I was getting with my old pump with a single sprinkler. So I'm not really putting myself in much better of a position with this than I was before. So you can see now with just one sprinkler running how much better it's doing. And that's with about 500 feet of hose, you know, offering resistance and it's pushing that water uphill too. So this with just one sprinkler is doing a phenomenal job. I'm a little disappointed that it didn't power up too the way that we wanted, but that's the way it goes. I mean, you're just gonna need uh, a much bigger pump to move that much water. This sprinkler now has been running for exactly one hour. So I'm gonna let it make one more revolution here. And then I'm gonna pick up two cans that I 
put it on the ground, or they're not really canned, but containers that I put on the ground, and then we'll go grab a tape measure and see how much it's dropped in there. Back of the truck here, I tried to level this out as best I could. I don't actually have a level with me, but looking at the water in the container, I was able to manipulate this board and get it level. So what it reads here is right about a half an inch. And this container was placed about 60 feet away from the sprinkler. This one was placed about 30 feet. And this one reads, you know, remarkably close. So maybe an eighth of an inch more, but uh, that is way more consistent than I thought it was going to be. But of course, consistency is what you want. You want that sprinkler to drop the same amount of water all the way around its rotation. So to have both of those within an eighth of an inch of each other, 30 feet apart, I'm really pleased with that. I know I had somebody ask what kind of sprinkler head that was. I'll drop a link in this video's description. It is the, um, I think the company is Ambo, or maybe it's Syme, and Ambo's the model. Anyway, it's the, um, it's a full circle sprinkler, inch and a half, and it comes with a couple different nozzles. And uh, there are a few different suppliers out there, but I ordered mine through Amazon, but it actually shipped from Irrigation King, which has their own website, and the pricing, no matter where you order, it was pretty much the same. So uh, if you look at the specs that are published for this sprinkler, uh, getting about a half an inch per hour is right around where I think we should expect given the pressure and the pump's capacity. So uh, I had gotten a little bit higher reading with my old pump, but it was on a much smaller circle. And I think when it was operating under a lower pressure with the other pump, it was moving around its rotation slower. So it was able to drop more water uh, in that smaller space than this one over the much larger space. The only other thing I could experiment with is using smaller nozzles, but then that's going to restrict the output and that's going to mean that I'm going to have to run the sprinklers for a much longer time. But I'm going to save that for another day because I actually don't have all those nozzles here with me today to test that. So we're just going to run one and leave it at that and it's the best we can do with what we got. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.